Good morning, it's your family neighborhood narrator. Um, today we're gonna talk about Bunsen burners. Let's get to it. We're gonna start by cleaning our work area with 70% isopropyl alcohol and a paper towel. Remember to wipe down every wall of the hood or plastic container you're gonna be using. If you are gonna be using a laminar flow hood, you can wipe the filter area, but remember, do not spray the alcohol on there directly. Since we don't have access to a laminar flow hood, we turn on our air filter inside of our transfer room uh, around 30 to 60 minutes before any sterile work begins. This is our Benson burner or alcohol lamp we're gonna be using today. The best fuel that we've found is denatured alcohol. It burns clean, it doesn't smoke, and it doesn't even smell. If you don't have access to that, the 70% isopropyl alcohol definitely works. It just causes a little bit of rust in the forceps. Since we haven't used the Bunsen burner in a while, I'm shaking it for the wick to absorb the alcohol a little faster. This would be good practice if A, you haven't used it in a while, or B, if you're brand new to using it. In order to keep the forceps nice and sterile the entire time, I would recommend uh, filling up either a cup full of 70% isopropyl or two separate glass jars for each forcep. Today we're going to do two separate test tubes and we're going to fill it with 70% isopropyl alcohol. So the plant we're going to be working with today is Panguicula hemipifecta cyclocoseta. It's a Mexican carnivorous plant. The media is comprised of one-third MS salts with one uh, milliliter per liter of BA and 0.1 milliliter liter of NAA. 25 grams of sucrose, 6 grams of agar, and 1 milliliter per liter of ppm. We're using a regular kitchen lighter to light the Bunsen burner. The Bunsen burner will light immediately, however there may not be a flame for a couple seconds. Spray your hands when working in any sterile environment. Um, you may note that he's not wearing any gloves. That's very important so you don't burn your hands. Gloves can melt and stick to the skin causing more damage. So we're going to take our forceps that have been soaking in the 70% isopropyl alcohol and hold them over the fire for a couple seconds just to make sure they're thoroughly sterilized. Gently crack the lids of both containers, but don't open quite yet until you flame the forceps one more time. Now's the fun part! Open the container with the plants and you can start splitting with the sterile forceps.
Alternate the forceps and the 70% isopropyl alcohol every three to four containers. Place the lid back on the Bunsen burner and turn off the fire. Remove the forceps out of the alcohol and dry them off to prevent rust. If the alcohol is still clean, place the lids back on the tubes and you can use them again tomorrow. This amount of alcohol should burn for a couple of hours, so you should be good for a couple of tries. Seal the containers using parafilm or saran wrap. Label your containers with the full name of the plant and the date. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to check out our website, plantcelltechnology.com, and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Alrighty.